This week on the Maritime Beer Report, Pickaroons has big news for home brewers. French and Beer Fest gets a new home. Tons of collaborations and three local brew pubs make it big on MSN's travel. Hello and welcome to the August 30th edition of the Maritime Beer Report. As reported a couple of weeks ago, Picarones has returned upstream ale to select uh, New Brunswick liquor stores for a limited time to raise funds for the Atlantic Salmon Conservation Foundation. It's a 4.5% pale ale that was released for the first time last summer and is available in 500 ml bottles until the promotion ends on September 29th or while supplies last. Picaroons also announced this week that it's teaming up with the New Brunswick Craft Brewers Association for the New Brunswick Home Brewing Challenge. The invitation is out to home brewers to submit their versions of a standard ordinary bitter. You, can reg you have to register by November 1st and have your entry delivered to the Picaroons Brewtique in Fredericton by November 15th. The winner will be picked by a panel of beer tasting experts. I don't know how you get that job, I'd like to know. And uh, the winner will be announced at a gala event at the Picaroons Brewery on December 1st. The winner will be awarded with an opportunity to brew a full batch of their beer for release via the Brewtique, plus a free one-year NBCBA membership. For full details, visit the NBCBA.org website to sign up. Fredericton Beer Fest announced that they're excited to have confirmed new venues for the Fredericton Craft Beer Festival 2014 on March 8th and the Fredericton Beer Run on August 4th. I asked for some more details, but they uh, don't want to release them just yet, so stay tuned. PEI Beer Fest is a week away and it looks like it's going to be shaping up to be quite awesome. Uh, they reminded everyone that they're on their site that uh, your tasting session tickets includes all of the beer samples plus samples from each of the uh, food pairings and more food samples can be purchased. I really wish I could go to this. Uh, hopefully next year the budget will allow. Uh, from PEI we head on to uh, back to Nova Scotia here. Big Spruce is sharing lots of pictures of their initial hop harvest IPA. I'm really looking forward to this one. I hope it makes it over to the mainland down my way. Uh, full prep is on at Sea Level Brewing for their next seasonal special brew, the popular New Scotland Heather Ale. The, uh, so the countdown's on for that. I also noticed that Sea Level received and installed a new larger canning machine this week, so that's good news for uh, Sea Level fans. Uh, I stopped into Hell Bay this week and uh, asked him what's, what's, coming, what's coming down the pipe. He said he's going to have another seasonal this fall, and it's probably going to be a bitter, so stay tuned here for more details. I also stopped at Boxing Rock. They announced uh, that their Temptation Red Ale is available here in Halifax at the Heart and Thistle. So that's uh, it's good for uh, beer fans up here. Their next batch of Vickers Cross Double IPA is hitting the shelves today. There's very limited supply, so get yours early. They'll have a bit in store in Shelburne, and there'll be some tomorrow morning at the Seaport Market here in Halifax. You should also be able to get some at the usual spots, Harvest, Cristal, Bishops, and Premier later today, meaning today, Friday, and very soon at the NSLC. Uh, also this week, Boxing Rock welcomed the Bridge Brewing Boys down to work on their collaboration Wet Hot Brew. It's a Vienna IPA that will be available at both locations in the future in a growler. So I'm really looking forward to this one. And oh, and by the way, the, uh, the hops came from the guy from Bridge Brewing, uh, Josh. So it's a local, uh, local collaboration in every sense of the word, I guess. Uh, I also dropped by to Rudders in Yarmouth uh, to say hi, and Hal Bay Boxer are all very friendly people um, that I stopped to have a chat with. Garrison mentioned today that to celebrate Labor Day, they're, they're going to have a collab beer on tap called 
Le Diable d'Alifax. It's a collab with Micro Brasserie, Le Trou de Diable de Schwe uh, uh, from Schwedingen. And it's a tasty hopped up German lager available in extremely limited quantities for samples only. No growlers or Gorlito fills this time. They also said they're collecting hops this weekend for their Three Harvest Wet Hop IPA, which I really love. And it should be available in the next few weeks. Speaking of Le Tro de Diable, uh, MSN Travel listed 10 must-see brew pubs, of which that was one of the ones listed in our area. Gone House in PEI, Pump House in Moncton, and Rock Bottom here in Halifax made the list. Congrats, guys. The final item tonight is from the Atlantic Canada Beer Blog. Meander River Farms, which has supplied hops to, and other ingredients to a number of breweries in the area, will soon have their, be brewing their own beer. The farm has been waiting for a number of months to get approval to operate a small on-site brewery and with the approval recent, recently received, preparations are starting to build a three-barrel brew house that is planned to be producing beer before the end of the year. Meander River Farms intends to offer uh, uh, community supported brewing shares which allow the public to pay up front an amount in exchange for beer over time. That's a really interesting concept. One of my first jobs I had was at Co-op Atlantic, and that kind of sounds uh, so. It kind of sounds like uh, the new take on it. Anyways, best of luck, guys. Uh, I'll be watching to see what's going on. And uh, I'd like to start a new part of the show. Um, what's being reviewed on YouTube for Maritime Beers? I subscribe to a couple of channels. L Harlock. This week he's doing a bunch of cider stuff, but he also reviewed a. Boxing Rock Vickers Cross, a double IPA, and uh, also one from Gone House. And uh, Maxwell Starr up in St. John, I think, he reviewed the Old Fog Burner Garrison, one of my favorite beers, uh, seasonals. So uh, go check those guys out and uh, let me know what you think. Anyway, that's all for this week. And what I'm enjoying this week to drink is a uh, Hell Bay Pale Ale. So until next time, enjoy responsibly, and we'll see you in a week. Have a good night, guys.